Hello, this is Janet Michael. In addition to hosting The Valley today each weekday at noon on the River 95.3, I also produce podcasts, and I'm excited to introduce you to a new podcast series in partnership with Lord Fairfax Community College. Having provided higher education and career training for the past half century, LFCC is tightly interwoven into the fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Piedmont regions. Join me every week for conversations with current and former students to hear their funny and inspiring stories as we learn about their journey to higher education, the role that LFCC has played, where they are now, and where they plan to go. We'll also talk to current and former professors about their experiences and best memories of LFCC over the past 50 years. Get every single episode as they're released on our website at theriver953.com under the podcast tab, or you can subscribe for free in Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, on Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts. Just search for LFCC Stories. Hello and welcome to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Monday as you are listening to the show today. We, of course, have pre recorded it, not on Zoom, and it is not Monday as we are pre recording. <laughs> we are picking up after our Facebook Live video on Saturday. I am sitting at the Strasburg Pavilion with Olivia Hilton. She is the interim, soon to be permanent, I hope, Director of Community Development for the town of Strasburg. And we're strolling Strasburg, but we're kind of not leaving the pavilion so we strolled <laughs> earlier people can see our facebook live video from saturday that's when we actually strolled now we're just sitting in straws you know every time we've come we've moved less and less last week or last month and everyone keeps up with us we were at nancy's and box office so we just went about 10 feet and now we just moved on the picnic table yeah so and, <laughs> and we're sitting and you know we're gonna have our feet propped up and then i'm going shopping Oh, yeah. So people that are listening to this on Monday missed out on a fantastic Mother's Day market, and they need to mark their calendars for when you do another one of these. Absolutely. And actually, um, since we partnered with the Strasburg Farmer's Market, this is a perfect segue. You just segued yourself. Oh, my gosh. See, since I've been doing this so long, I don't even realize don't how good I am at it. We had our Mother's Day market uh, this past weekend, but we have our Strasburg Farmer's Market every Saturday now through May through October. And that's where we're sitting now as we record this on a Saturday at the Strasburg Farmer's Market. We are chatting with Allison Thomas. She is the market manager. And you are just grinning from ear to ear. You are having a blast here today. You must really love being in charge of the Farmer's Market. I love it. Honestly, Saturdays are my favorite day of the whole week because it's just so fun to be here and to see our entire community come out and support these local vendors. How long have you been the market manager? Uh, this will be my third year being the market manager um, for the Strasburg Farmer's market in this location. So what was it like before you guys came here? I mean, is was it different? Did you have different things to do when you weren't located in this space? Yeah, so previously the farmer's market was located at Pot Town Organics, which is down the street. Um, they have a alleyway um, by their store where they used to host vendors there, um, and they were getting away from it at the same time that Strasburg was building this beautiful public space. Um, and in conversations with the town, they talked about you know what they wanted this space to be like. And the farmer's market idea came up. And for me, I have a great garden area that I was like, well, if I want a place to sell, then there needs to be a farmer's market. And so I kind of took on this role. And now here we are three years later and it's growing every year. And it's just amazing to see how far it's come. And you guys are year round for the most part. I mean, most farmer's markets start in like June when a lot of the crops come in and are done yeah. by late summer, early fall. But you guys have the indoor space. Do you swap out vendors based on what they have to offer at what time of year? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we go every Saturday, May through the end of October. And then in the winter time, we shift to doing the first and third Saturday of each month. Um, not all of our vendors participate in the winter time. Um, some of them don't have the produce that they do or they just kind of drop in. We offer different commitment levels for our vendors. So some of them are only part-time or they just come when they have extra produce. So it's a constant rotation of vendors um, in addition to the full-time that are here every Saturday. One of the things that I mentioned to Olivia when we did the Facebook Live, and I want to say on Saturday, but it is still Saturday <laughs> as we're recording this, is that it's not just farmers with their produce and their beef and their eggs. There's a pretty good variety of people at the farmer's market every week. Absolutely. I feel like you never know what you're going to find on a Saturday when you come. 
Um, even our pro, even our producers that grow vegetables and have beef and things also have a variety of other things on their tables. And we all support one another and encourage one another to buy from all of the sources there. Um, you know, we have specialty crafts, we have soaps, we have just a great variety of vendors, and it just seems to be growing every almost every Saturday at this point. I've gotten so many people that are interested in becoming a vendor in the past two weeks since we're open again. And do you think it's going to be easier to add more vendors as you go along because you have so much space here to be yeah, able to put them? We have so much space. Um, yesterday or Last week when we opened, um, we, I think we had 16 vendors here, and it was so great to see them sprawling all over this grass area. And then I'm here today, and we have 30, and you kind of get to visualize just how much space we have here and how much opportunity we have for local small businesses in the area that want to come and sell their products. And it really is, Olivia, an event. I mean, granted, this is an event happening for this particular farmer's market today. When people come next Saturday, as they're listening to this on a Monday, it's not going to be as big of a deal, but it's still going to be a really big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Allie does a great job, too, of just having little specials. So I know, you know, last year they did Halloween in October. So yeah, you can... we did Halloween in July. So they yeah. planted pumpkin seeds, which is when you plant them in order for them to be ready by Halloween. Halloween and fall time for the kids. Yeah. Um, so we've done, we do a couple events like throughout the year just to keep it special and like I said, keep the variation going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're very lucky to have Allie. She's a volunteer, um, but she also, so her day job, uh, <laughs> one of I feel like many, uh, is Lord Fairfax Soil and Water Conservation District. And so she also runs our community garden at the park. So she's our ag girl. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys didn't know each other at all. You were telling me before we started recording until you planned an event together, and now you're like besties. Is that yeah, how it works in Strasbourg? It's out. an event love child, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> well, actually, it's almost our friend anniversary. We figured that out the other day. I think it's what, May 22nd. 22nd. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness. We, we both are so type A that we still have our calendars from years yes. ago. So we were able to look back and find the event planning meeting that we met at. <laughs> yes. And then here we are three years later and just run around Strasbourg all the time doing Different yep. things. We became best friends and both found out we were Hufflepuff at the same yeah. time. So <laughs> that's really what did it. <laughs> okay, so back to the farmer's market vendors because I'm feeling like a third wheel sitting here. <laughs> Olivia and I are have to look at our date of when we first did oh, yeah. the show together <laughs> and figure all that out now too. But I noticed from walking around that you have a vendor that is in Linden. It's going to be a regular in the farmer's market. Everything is local. It may not necessarily be local to Strasburg, Shenandoah County, but it is really yeah. local anyway. In our guidelines, um, we do specify that it must be producer and Virginia grown. Um, they just have to be within a 50-mile radius. Um, we also have a new vendor. They haven't been able to show up yet, um, but a vendor that signed up located in Wardensville, West Virginia. So it's still close enough to be within um, that 50-mile radius, even though it's not in Virginia. So we just kind of review those on a case-by-case -case basis. But yeah, we have producers um, or vendors that come from Linden all the way to like Mount Jackson. So it's a pretty wide scope and um, we appreciate them coming this way and participating in our market. Um, and we all, it's we call ourselves the farm fam. We all get along so well and have such a great time every Saturday morning. Do you do extra things sometimes at the market? Like today, because it's the Mother's Day market, Star in the Valley is here doing a wine tasting. There's live music. Mm -hmm. Do you add in extra things at other farmer's markets sometimes? Yeah, and I mean, that's also the great part about working with the town is that you have this great resource um, and a person that knows everybody <laughs> <laughs> to contact. So again, you know, we'll hold special events. We partner on events with the town and even other organizations organizations that wish to participate. One thing that we're trying to include this year is finding more food trucks that want to come or maybe even like civic organizations that want to do um, like food fundraisers that could then come and sell their food here. That would also be a draw to bring in more of a lunch crowd. So we're always looking for ways to expand or to include more of the community so that, you know, it's always a great event on a Saturday. And because for the most part it's outdoors, pets allowed. I mean, we hear babies crying. You can't yeah. not allow babies because babies <laughs> crying are still wonderful little smiley yeah. babies. Yeah, that is actually the number one question I get is if dogs are allowed. Um, we love our farmer's market dogs. We usually have a water bowl out for them and vendors that give out treats. Um, we do ask that they try not to get super close to the food products. Um, but, you know, we love our dogs uh, here at the market. 
Do you guys have a website? Do you have social media? How can people get more information about the farmer's market in general? Yeah, so we are very active on our Facebook. I try my best to share everything from our vendors and share it to, you know, what's happening, Strasburg pages and all that. So you can find us on Facebook at Strasburg Farmer's Market. Um, and then, of course, we have an email, which is strasburgfarmersmarket at gmail.com. So if there's any interested vendors out there um, or if you have questions about the market, please feel free to reach out to me. And I love that you're flexible in that a vendor doesn't have to commit to the full season every single Saturday. They yeah. can say, look, we only want to come these couple of Saturdays or we want to try it out. So can we come this week and next week and see how well we do and then maybe come back? Yeah. Give it a shot. What? Exactly. I just think the uh, that farm fam she's talking about is what really sells people. So I have to brag, Grilled Cheese and Tomato Soup Festival. Yeah. The oh, farmer's market right. won last yeah. year. So they actually did fresh, like, a apple or uh, tomatoes from Adam's um, Orchard. And then, or I guess, what Adam's is the, apples where, and the, herbs. where does the tomatoes come from? His greenhouse. Greenhouse. Yeah, I was like, it's not gardens. growing in the orchard. <laughs> um, so Adam's apples and herbs had the tomato. And then Becky's buns had her, like, grandmother's pimento recipe. So they, they won it, which we is super awesome. I had my oven on for eight hours straight. <laughs> yes. Because, of course, we were the only ones that didn't have, like, a commercial kitchen. So... We were all working together. We all we all got sent home with tasks and recipes of what we needed to do, and we came back and um, we put it together. Put it's it together. a team effort for sure, and I still can't believe we won. And I still need to get that trophy from you. Oh yeah, I do. It's nice in the office. I like to keep it. Oh, there. Yeah. She's, she's she's stashing it so she can look yeah. at it. Every once in a while. So you mentioned Adam's apples. Is that who we're going to talk to in the next segment? What are we doing after we go to break? Yeah. So after break, we're going to uh, chat with Adam's apples and herbs, and then Raven Hawk Crafts. So to see, uh, to see both sides of our farmers market family. Awesome. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk with both of them. I am at uh, pre-recording at the Mother's Day Market at the Strasburg Farmers Market <laughs> on a Saturday. You are listening to it, of course, on a Monday. You can get more information at the Strasburg Farmers Market's Facebook page. We're going to come back in a couple of minutes and talk to some of the vendors. Got a financial decision to make or a goal to reach, but you don't know where to start? You come to the right place. Introducing Quick Money Chats with the Northern Shenandoah Valley Financial Education Program. Visit tinyurl.com backslash quickmoneychat to schedule a virtual chat with a staff member or trained volunteer. We won't tell you what to do, but we will give you the tools you need to choose wisely. And because Virginia Cooperative Extension is part of Virginia Tech and Virginia State, your land-grant universities, you can be sure that our information is credible and trustworthy. And you'll know that we aren't trying to sell you something. Maybe you want to improve your credit score or reduce your banking overdraft fees or even figure out if you can afford to buy that car. Sorting through tons of information on the internet can be overwhelming and sometimes it can be hard to know who to trust. Schedule a quick money chat and get the information you need to take action. Go to tinyurl.com backslash quick money chat and get financial education personalized for you. Welcome back to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Monday. As you are listening to the show today, we of course have pre recorded our conversation on a Saturday afternoon at the Strasburg Farmers Market that is also the Mother's Day Market. But we're getting to talk about the Farmers Market because it's here every Saturday, right, Olivia? Yep, every Saturday. Olivia Hilton is here with me. She is the interim, soon to be, I hope, permanent director of community development for the town of Strasburg. And we talked in the first segment with Allie, who's the market manager for the farmer's market. Now we're going to talk to a couple of the vendors. So who's this guy sitting here next to me? Yes. Yeah, so this is Adam, whose last name is not Apples, but I always say Adam's Apples. <laughs> um, but Adam has Adam's Apples and Herbs uh, based out of Woodstock. Um, and so he's one of the OG members of the farmer's market. And we could not have had a market segment without talking to Adam. Well, and it's interesting, Adam, when we were walking around prior to doing our Facebook Live that we did or even starting to record the show, she tells me about you and she goes, this is a guy who is a farmer with a degree in business. That was the highly <laughs> important thing that she thought I needed to know about you. Farming, tell me about farming. Right, we, uh, so we have a family farm um, in Woodstock, which I kind of took over that role from my parents when I graduated from college. And uh, it's been going really good. We've been growing every year. Um, expanding quick. We, uh, we have greenhouses, um, orchards, lots of gardens. Um, we do a little bit of everything, not a lot of anything. So, um, 
and that it. is evidenced by your booth because I saw a little <laughs> bit of everything and a lot of everything that I loved. Yeah. I love that. Oh, and I ordered bought the strawberries. They're fantastic. Mm. I've been working on a full bushel of apples. Is a bushel? Yes. You can see That's why I have Allie apples, do. Olivia. Yes. Yeah. Allie does the market. You can tell. I do not know these agriculture terms. <laughs> um, that's what you do as a leader is you get people who know what they're doing and put them in the right place. So why come to someplace like the farmer's market? Is that is it just a great place for you to be able to sell the products that you grow? Yeah, the, the farmer's market has been a really good opportunity for us um, to really get more of an outreach with people. And uh, it's really been a great opportunity here in Strasburg um, to really expand because we do have a market at our house also at the farm. Um, but it's really been a big step to be able to kind of go to the people instead of the people coming to you. So where is your farm located? It, well, so we're in Woodstock. It's about a mile off of I-81 there, um, and it's on Walton Farm Road. And many, it's Adam's Apples. Adam's Apples. Yep. Do you have a website, social media, things we're, where people can get more details? pretty much just on Facebook. Sometimes that's all that. you need. Yeah, and it's, and it's, <laughs> it's about all we can handle. So, But, yeah, we're, we're open Monday and then Thursday through Saturday. So people are listening to this on a Monday afternoon, and the upcoming farmer's market for Saturday, which to us sitting here is next Saturday, what kinds of things can they expect? So we should have plenty of uh, fruits and vegetables. Right now we're really big into strawberries and asparagus. Um, but we also do a lot of different greens. So we'll have kale, Swiss chard, um, our lettuce mix. Um, flowers. Yeah, you yeah, have beautiful have flowers. Flowers and, and uh, isn't your greenhouse uh, new? Yeah, we just built yeah. a new greenhouse. Um, yeah, we. <laughs> It's been, we've had a really good year. It's been, it's been going How well. much space do you need for a greenhouse? Because I really feel like I need one in my backyard. Yeah. Well, you, well, you, <laughs> can, you can have a greenhouse of any size and shape, but ours happened to be 30 by 96. So, so maybe I just need to be better long. friends with Adam yeah. and be better friends with people who <laughs> have their own greenhouses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we do some fun things, too. I mean, we, we grow tomatoes in the winter, which mm-hmm. is pretty neat. Um, and then uh, we've been we had broccoli in like December, which was kind of cool. But uh, so we try to really yeah. You're probably of, pretty popular here at the farmers market yeah. for people to be <laughs> able to get farm grown things out of their normal season. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's been really good. We're I'm I'm pretty blessed. So I'm happy. Well, thank yeah. you for taking a second out away from your booth to chat with us. Yeah. So we have released Adam back to his booth. It's getting windier here <laughs> at to the Strasburg Farmer's Market. It is Saturday afternoon, of course. I'll remind everybody, even though they're listening on a Monday. Olivia, who are we talking to now? We are talking to, I keep wanting to call all the vendors by their name. I'm like, we're talking to Ravenhawk Crafts. <laughs> we're talking to Jennifer here with Ravenhawk Crafts. <laughs> yes. So Hi. tell me about Ravenhawk Crafts. What do you guys have? What do you do? Well, we are a small little business. Uh, we are right here in Strasburg. We do um, everything we do. We, we make uh, our wood signs. We have wood tabletop games, tic-tac-toe, and things like that. So fun stuff for people to enjoy outside. Um, we also do um, decorate uh, coffee mugs. We take custom orders from customers mm-hmm. that uh, want things made, signs specifically. And, uh, yeah, we just, we just make... Almost anything. Anything you could want. (laughs) Now, did you start out with the intention of having this be a business? Was it a hobby that suddenly morphed into something? It it was a hobby. We moved here to Virginia six years ago, and uh, I started crafting like crazy because I didn't work outside the home. And then everybody was like, you should sell your stuff. You should sell your stuff. So now we're selling our stuff. (laughs) And we got in with the farmer's market, and it's just been been great, really. Now, are you a regular that you're here every week? We are here just about every Saturday, yeah. yeah. We've been doing the farmer's market for five years now. Oh, wow. So you've been at the old location and then to the new location here at the pavilion. Yeah, yeah. So it's been it's been fun, and we meet a lot of people. It's it it really is great. Well, and Olivia, we've talked about this a lot during the show today, and then during the Facebook Live that we did on the station's Facebook page about the variety of things. Mm-hmm. Farmers markets aren't just for farmers, really anymore. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Allie's done a, a nice job of getting a, a diverse group of vendors out here, um, and Ravenhawk is, is really a cornerstone of that, especially on the craft side of things, um, which is really the, the perk of showing Adam 
and then Jennifer here too, just because um, we want to show that it's diverse. It's yeah. a nice variety. Yeah, and and the vendors that come in and out throughout the farmers market. You know, you have jewelry people, you have more food people that come in and mm -hmm. out. You have candles and yeah, but so yeah, mm -hmm. so it is. It's a, good it's a built in traffic mechanism for you that you probably wouldn't have access to otherwise. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So if somebody is listening and they want to see some of your stuff or they want to get more details or reach out to you about a custom coffee mug, which I'm going to do as soon as we're done recording, <laughs> uh, do you have a Facebook page? Do you have a we, website? We do have a Facebook page. It's Ravenhall Crafts on Facebook. We're also on Instagram. And then we have a website. We've just opened the website. So it's ravenhallcrafts.com. Awesome. And I will remind everybody that we did do a Facebook Live when we were here recording what we're recording now <laughs> on Saturday. And we did, um, I think we did a couple of featured things. I showed some of the pieces. Yep, yep. From, we showed some of yeah. theirs. Definitely. So we're just, on, on behalf of the town, we're very fortunate to have the volunteers and the folks that come out on the weekends. Because really it's about making food accessible, but also driving people downtown. So these market folks that are committed to that being here every weekend, they come down, they get coffee at Nancy's, they go get mm -hmm. lunch at Old Dominion like right. it really is a community and so I just want to thank you you know for being here since the beginning and Allison of course and Adam so and thank you Janet for showcasing our market yes folks. and it's less than seven minutes we talked about this That's last right. month when yes. we strolled Strasburg to Box Office Brewery it's less than seven minutes so yes. I have a special place in my heart for the Clark County Farmers Market but y'all are closer so you might be mm. you might be edging them out a little bit. I hope they're not your, listening. They're going to be really your favorite mayor, me. your favorite market, my favorite mayor. Yes, you're over. my favorite uh, almost permanent <laughs> director of community. I do like hearing you say that every time. I do like it. <laughs> we are going to wrap up our conversation today. We have been chatting with Olivia Hilton. She is the interim, uh, I hope soon to be permanent director of community development for the town of Strasburg. We pre-recorded it at the Mother's Day market that happened this past Saturday. As you were listening to it on Monday, you can go watch the Facebook Live on the River 95.3's Facebook page and uh, make plans to come this Saturday down to the farmer's market and tell everybody you heard about them on the radio. Love I'll be it. back on Tuesday. It's Tourism Tuesday and right now sitting here in the sunshine, I have no idea who's on the show, but I'm sure I've already recorded it. So <laughs> meet me back here tomorrow a few minutes afternoon and we'll figure it out together.